Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about Q Kids again. Um, this is my background if you're new and you don't know what we're talking about. Q Kids is a international company based in China that teaches, um, that hires Americans and Canadians to teach children in China English, basically. ESL, English Second Language. So I work for Q Kids and I made a video about a week ago explaining what Q Kids was and just the basics. I'll have that video linked down below if you're interested in you know, learning the basics. I would go watch that first if you haven't already and then come back to this if you don't know the basics. So I had someone um, request on my last video to do a video on demo interview one and two. So for the Q Kids process, I explain all this in the other video, but I'm just gonna recap. Basically, when you apply for Q Kids, you have to put in a two minute video of you answering some of the questions that they request and reading a book. Um, just a short little book, it's two minutes. It was super simple, it took me five minutes to do. Once you turn that in, um, if they like that, they will email you and basically ask you or let you know that they wanna continue with you with the application process. And with that is two demo interviews. And basically the demo interview is you demonstrating that you know how to use the classroom where we teach um, and ask you questions. Basically like any other job interview, they're gonna ask you like, why do you think you'd be a good Q Kids teacher? But I will get more into detail on that later. So basically I'm gonna talk about one interview one first, obviously, and then I'll go to interview two, but they are very similar. I'm just gonna tell you that. Also, I wanted to let you guys know if my video is not enough, which I, if you are interested in QKids, you will probably watch more than just my video if you haven't already. There are tons of videos on YouTube. Well, not tons, but there's a decent amount that will help you because I, I did the same thing and I use YouTube as a resource and I watched a bunch of QKids demo interview videos. Some people even record themselves during their interview and you could see the screen of the classroom and like what they're clicking on and all that. Um, and what the person's asking, the coach that's inter the interviewer, and all of that. And it's just super helpful so you're not going in blind. That's one thing I wanna mention, you guys. So if my video's not enough, go ahead and check that out. Also, if you have any more questions that I do not answer, always comment down below. I'll remind you guys of that later, but I just wanted to say it. First though, before we get into that, I'm gonna go over what you're gonna need for these interviews. I just wanted to let you guys know what you're gonna need before you can even do the interview, what you're gonna need for the interview. You're gonna need a computer. I have a PC laptop that I use and it comes, it has a webcam already in it. So if your laptop has a webcam, you're good. Um, I've had this computer for a very long time. I did not buy it for QKids and it worked fine. And then I have an ethernet cord, which if you don't know what an ethernet cord is, basically it's a cord that has a, um, makes a connection between your laptop and your router or whatever your source of Wi-Fi is. That way um, it's a direct connection and you have less chance of losing your connection during a classroom, uh, during a class, so they like you to have that. You could, I got mine at Walmart for like 12 bucks. They're very affordable for the most part. And yeah, so if you're not sure what an ethernet cord is, just go ahead and Google it up. It's very simple. And it, when you go to buy it at Walmart, it's in the, um, what's it called, electronic section, obviously. And then I have a headset, um, which I like it because it's, squishy because you're wearing these for a very long time. I mean, depending on how long you teach, I teach for two hours every morning. So I just like them to be comfortable. And these are the LJ, J Lab, J Lab brand. But I got these at a local store in my town and I really like them. Um, yeah, and then I also you're gonna need a mouse and either a mouse pad or something to put your mouse on. This is my mouse pad. Also, I have a lamp right here uh, because I just find that regular light, regular lighting is not enough. Maybe if you're using natural sunlight, that'd be fine. But you remember you're teaching early morning, so you're probably not going to be good enough. So I have a lamp, just cheap old lamp that I already had that I just place in front of my laptop. That way uh, I have direct light onto my face. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into demo interview one because that's what was requested. So demo interview one was about 10 minutes long for me and I know it diff it's different for everybody because we all have different coaches and it just depends on how fast you answer the questions. Basically like a normal interview at a job, not everyone's interview is gonna go the same way, but mine was about 10 minutes long, maybe 15. And the first thing she had me do was show her that I could use the buttons in the classroom. Now mind you, if you have no idea what Q Kids is, you don't never been in the classroom before and you're not about to take your demo interview, 
basically they will give you a, I've used the word basically so many times. They will give you, Q Kids will give you a classroom, a practice classroom that you can practice in to prepare for your demo interviews. So you're not just blindly hoping for the best. They will definitely give you plenty of resources to prepare. Make sure you utilize those and make sure you practice. So the first interview, they're basically just wanting to know that you know how to use the classroom. They're gonna ask you questions about all the buttons, um, how to give diamonds to students, how to draw, how to highlight or use the spotlight, how to where the stickers are, things like that. They're also gonna want you to know how to put a student on stage, which you're going to put your coach on stage. They're gonna wanna know how to mute your, or mute your students, how to um, select just an individual student to speak, how to um, handle an echo situation, which all of this will be in your preparation stuff, so don't freak out. Um, very simple. Now, if you were watching this video and you're about to take your demo interview, like say tomorrow or something, and you already know what I'm talking about, it is easy. What you're thinking it's going to be or what you know in your brain right now is probably what they're going to ask you. They just want to know, can this person handle clicking the buttons and figuring out, you know, what does what? Can you use the classroom? That's basically it. Then the second part for demo interview one, um, she basically just had me go through the games not every single one, just I think two, maybe three. And basically she just wanted to see if I, the word basically, she just wanted to see if I knew how to play the games and she wanted to see if I could, you know, teach. So I got all into my mode because at the beginning of the interview, you don't have to be too like, um, but once she said, okay, I'm going to be the student and you're going to be the teacher and you teach me the lesson. And I was like, okay. And I was like, okay, now we're gonna blah, blah, blah. Make sure you're animated, make sure you're happy always smile. I don't care how much pain it is or how tired you are. Smile because that's what they want. They want to see if you can be happy through a class. So um, smile big, use animations, use your hands. There's not, I don't think you could be too animated, especially because they're probably pretending to be younger, four or five. Well, that was what we did. We just went through the games or whatever and we didn't go through that many and that's why it only took about 10 to 15 minutes for my first interview it was super simple and after that she let me know um i think it was 24 hours later that i that they were okay with me moving on to my interview two and i was like great so demo interview two this one was a little longer probably like 20 to 25 minutes if that i'm just ballparking it because obviously i was not watching how much time it took i was just doing my interview but it was longer than the first one, but not too much longer, maybe five, 10 minutes longer. So basically the same exact thing, you log on, you, I took the sec, my second demo interview with the, with a different coach. I think I got reassigned to someone else, but you could have the same person. And this time at the beginning of demo interview two, they're gonna ask you questions, not that many questions and not hard questions at all. Questions you should be prepared to answer. I'll go ahead and tell you what my questions were. My first one was, why do you think you'd be a good Q-Kids teacher? And I feel like that is a fair question to ask. I went ahead and said that I have experience. I've always been around children. I've always nannied. I worked at daycares. I have a younger six-year-old sister, so I'm just used to being around them. And they were fine with that answer. So basically, just talk about your experience or, you know, make sure you're prepared to answer these questions without being like, blah, blah, you know, just like a normal interview. The second question they asked me was what five, it was either three or five qualities do I think I have that would make me a good cute kids teacher. And I said that I am, um, what did I say? Outgoing or something like that, or always happy, or I don't even know exactly what I said. Um, I also said I was, you guys have to remember this was a month ago. I'm having a hard time remembering what I said, but basically just think of five qualities that you think would make you a good cute kids teacher. Um, think about what they're looking for. So definitely someone who's gonna be outgoing and friendly and happy and wanting to teach children. Liking children would definitely be a good quality to work for a um, teaching children's company, I would say. So just come up with questions or answers to the question. And then the next question they asked was, how would I teach a four-year-old different from a 12-year-old student? And this one, I feel like it's pretty common, much common sense. You wanna be less animated when dealing with older children because I've noticed that they kind of get insulted if you're a little too much. If you're like, good job, wow, they're like, 
enough. Like they, imagine if you had like, or if you've been around a 10 year old or 12 year old, most of them don't want you to talk to them like they're 10 or like they're four, especially when they're boys, they don't like it. So basically when I have a, a level one class and they're all four and five year olds, I'm like, good job, you know, yeah. And I, I'm silly, that's another thing. Try to be silly and fun. They like that. Um, but when it's older kids, I am a little more respectful, a little more um, mature, more serious. And I, I, you know, have a different, you could still be fun, but more serious, okay? Um, and then I think that's all the questions they asked me. I was only asked three questions, but I know if you look on other people's videos, they also were asked different questions. Most of the questions were the same though, so I don't think they steer away from those basic questions. So definitely make sure you have an answer to those. What I did was in the shower, I would just practice like, why would you be a good cute kids teacher? I would be a good cute kid, you know, practice, 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 practice. Okay, so they asked, the first part of that was she just asked me questions. That took about five-ish minutes, if that, 10, I don't know. And then we moved on to the second part of demo interview two, which was, showing her that I could play the games. This time um, it was more games, probably like five, and I taught her um, and she didn't give me feedback. She was basically just like, you know, acting like a kid, which they try to talk like kids too. So don't be alarmed when they are like, teacher, teacher. I mean, they're just playing the part to make you feel like they're you're actually teaching a child. So yeah, just make sure you practice. Um, another tip uh, that I would give you guys is don't be embarrassed and don't be shy. Um, and even during your interview when you're answering the questions, you know, just be smiling and happy because you know, you can't be like, I wanna be a cute kids teacher. And then when it's time to teach, you're like, I mean, they're gonna see the fake right, you know, right away. They're gonna see that you're not genuine and you just are faking it. So try your best to be as happy throughout the interview, but just more animated and speak clearly and loudly I hope that makes sense. Um, if there's anything that I didn't cover that you're like, what was she talking about? Or she didn't cover this and I'm confused or I have a question. Guys, comment down below, man. No matter how old this video gets, I will probably always answer because you know I, I'm a smaller channel. So I see these questions right away and I've been doing this for about a month and I know basically what you need to know or I know where to find the answer. So if you are confused or you have any questions or any tips, please feel free to comment down below and I will love to answer them for you. Um, I think that's everything that I have for you. So again, comment down below. If you like this video uh, and you like more cute kids videos and you want to hear more about it, give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys are enjoying this kind of content. I know it's different, but I'm enjoying it because I love this job. So let me know and go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel already and I will definitely upload more cute kids content if that's what you guys are feeling. Feel free to comment down below and be like, lady, do more cute kids things. We enjoy it. Let me know. Also, I have a referral link down below. If you use it to apply for cute kids, I do make a small amount of money. So I just wanted to put that out there. Also, if you guys use the link down below, I have a referral link and a referral code. All of that will be linked down below. Also, my first video that I did with Q for cute kids, um, just the basics of what cute kids is, how much you make, the hours that will be linked down below too. So definitely check that video out if you haven't already. And back to the referral code. If you use the referral code, I do make money off of it. So if you're not comfortable with that, I completely understand. But if you do use it, I really do appreciate it. So yeah, that's it for today's video. And I will see you guys in my next one.